Oh man, it's so unbelievably green right now. I feel like I'm running in the middle of Scotland or something. Look at this. Every year since 2021, a small group of like-minded friends and I love to put on an adventure on the calendar come mid to late March. This year, a trip back to the central coast of California on trails that I raced back in 2022. It was a great few days of running and community, but it's also great when you have a home you look forward to coming back to just as much. Okay, so as much as I love traveling and going on run adventures, more and more I find myself looking forward to time at home. Only home is now back at my childhood home that I grew up in with not only Hillary and our pup Charlie, but now living with my mom, my sister, and her family. But uh, more on that in a minute. You see, when the opportunity came up, I thought never in a million years would I leave lovely Hermosa Beach, my home for the past decade, let alone back in my childhood home. But my wife Hillary thought it'd be a good idea to basically start fresh and give it a shot. And honestly, as it turns out, it was one of the best decisions we could have made. Not only did it allow us to start our marriage on a clean slate, but it kind of forced us to pare down, live a bit more simply, and in living on the same compound with my family, just a little more time with the kids as they grow up. And since today officially marks exactly one year since we moved in, I thought it was a perfect time to give you guys a tour of our cozy, tiny little home, a nice little oasis in the heart of Los Angeles. Let me show you guys around. So what's amazing about this place is that this is all brand new construction. It wasn't that long ago that this was a dinky old garage that housed a bunch of crap. <laughs> what are you looking at? Uh, potentially our, our future home. <laughs> All right, the latest update with all the stuff finally moved out. I don't know when the genesis of the idea to turn this into a livable space uh, started. Thankfully, my wife Hillary and I had some input on where to put certain features, how we wanted the space to look and feel, and I thought our contractor did an amazing job. Will they put a wall there? <laughs> Oh dear. So one of the necessities of living in a small home is that it has to be modular. We didn't want a bunch of clutter. We didn't want to have a whole bunch of furniture in here crowding the space. So we made it intentionally a little more open in the living room space. And this coffee table that we bought off of Facebook Marketplace uh, becomes kind of our de facto dining room table and we do have additional things in here for storage. Yeah, as you can see, lots of books in here. We have some gym equipment and additional books in there. We also have our television here, which is also very modular. It has wheels, it wheels out in front when we want to watch a little television or a movie. This is where we like to hang out and just relax and have a cup of coffee first thing in the morning and all of our meals. So this, over here was um, originally intended as an add-on to the garage to be additional storage. You know, we need a little separation between Hillary and I, and I thought this would be a perfect spot to turn into my office. You know, where I like to spend most of my time editing and uh, doing work. So come on into my office. Given the limited space, I was very intentional about how things were organized and put away, especially because with camera gear, you could just pile on a whole bunch of stuff from hard drives to lenses to c-stands there's a lot that was packed in here but again i was very intentional in how it was organized i did have to sacrifice my desk and give my old giant standing desk to hillary and in turn i inherited hers but that's a sacrifice i was perfectly willing to make there are many times that we're on the same conference call so having a separate space like this was absolutely necessary. My YouTube 100K plaque, which I'm quite proud of and worked many years to build. I have little Grogu, Baby Yoda. My love of motorcycles, this is from the Batman, the motorcycle replica that he rode in the film. I have my latest 100 mile belt buckle, this is the Wasatch 100 mile belt buckle. <laughs> I went through hell and back to get this. I'm that much more proud of having gotten this as a result. Sports, I'm a big sports guy. 
Lakers, Dodgers, and of course my Rams. These little toy soldier figurines. Shout out to Ted Lasso, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. This guy is from a decade ago, 2014 Angeles Crest 100. Still the best race from start to finish that I've run 24 hours and 20 seconds. And uh, just a little reminder that even though you everything goes your way on race day, that you can still fall a little bit short. And that's a little reminder to keep me humble. And this here is a piece done by Nate Sexton. He dealt with brain cancer and is unfortunately no longer with us. He was doing some art as a way to continue to provide for his family and raise some funds. So I very happily purchased this piece when I saw this a little reminder of how how fragile life is, but also just a salute to Nate who very bravely fought brain cancer. And this here, right outside of my office, is the washer and dryer, which we share with our family in the main house. I mean, as runners, you, you know how much laundry we have to get through on the daily, so. Uh, having this readily available to Hillary and I has been an absolute godsend. Okay, so that was the washer dryer, the office, so all of this was still new construction. The staircase and the loft was added after the fact and we decided to have our bedroom here. We did play around with the notion of like, should we have a Murphy bed pulled out from down here so we had more headroom and uses for a different space. But in the end, decided to turn this into our bedroom loft area and in continuing with the theme of tiny home living, We've also had to adopt a sense of minimalism. So all of these are our clothes. This is Hillary's stuff, my stuff. So I'm a bit of a sneakerhead. Everything from trail shoes to things like Yeezys and LeBrons. I'm a big basketball fan. In the loft area, the one downside of it is that there isn't a whole lot of headspace. I'm six feet tall and this is about as tall as I can stand. It's Charlie's bed, this is our bed. We have the skylight to give off some more natural light. Oh, I have to show these guys. These are the New Balance MT-110s, the Anton Kropichkas. When I saw that Anton was giving away an old pair of his MT-110s, snatch it up, Anton's signature right there. He was a huge influence of mine when I was starting off. Right over here is one of my favorite photographs that Hillary's taken that we turned into a metal canvas and yeah, it was a selfie that Hillary took, just waiting for runners to come by. She took this selfie. It's probably one of my favorite photos. A few more personal touches I like to point out. This is a sign that Hillary got done custom to hang out our wedding. How will you know? And speaking of our wedding, I love this wedding gift by our friend Raja, inscribed Hillary and Billy running together forever. And I absolutely love this. GPS coordinate, Cunningham Gulch, where we basically fell in love. We're back at Cunningham Gulch for year number three at Hard Rock. This is our spot. He's right here. It was given to us by our good buddy Gary. It was a part of the trip, so thank you, Gary. Still look at this very fondly. So another space where we spend a lot of time is, of course, in the kitchen. Hang on, let me play switcheroo here and give her the mic. So take us through the kitchen. So the kitchen is my favorite spot, obviously. Lots of thought went into how we designed it as far as just functionality. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite things. The first one is we got this rolling island, which there's no kitchen counter island in the space and I realized we didn't have a lot of counter space, so that was important to me to be able to wheel this out. Our little hanging wall over here. So we have my apron, kitchen mitts, we have our pot lids on the wall because we don't have a lot of space for everything. Uh, we've got our knives on a magnetic block, cutting boards, my KitchenAid, which I love, a uh, little hard rock poster. That's our kind of favorite race we're out at every year. And so that's very special to us. It's where we fell in love. And a beautiful little tea towel that our friend Micah made for us, just commemorating our wedding last year, which is really sweet and canisters on the countertop that's not just for show it's because we literally don't have much cabinet space so everything has to find a home somewhere we've got our beautiful dishware from fable which is all homemade ceramics um, those were things that i 
I've never had nice dishes until we moved in here. So I was like, at least if we're gonna live in a tiny space, I wanna love everything. So that's kind of the, the premise behind all the kitchen stuff. It's like, I wanna love it. I'm gonna use it every day. I have to stare at it every day because it's right here. So let's make it special. We've got our coffee setup, which is very important to both Billy and I, and uh, our little caraway pots and pans, which kind of store in these magnetic holders, just again, because we've got nowhere else to put them. Uh, our little open concept shelves with our little uh, alcohol cabinet on display. Uh, you'll notice that there's also lots of plants in this place and that is me. I'm also very proud of that because I've never been a plant person. I've never been able to keep them alive, especially with how much we travel. But to me, it just felt like rather than putting a lot of stuff on the walls, I wanted it to feel very light and bright and alive and plants just kind of make me feel very peaceful. I don't know how messy everything is as I open it, but... <laughs> Our little shower and toilet, everything's small, but you know, it's there, like it's all we need really. And it's kind of amazing how well it all works considering how small the space is overall. I'm very fond of this hang board, which we just put in like a month ago. And we're both wanting to get better at our upper body strength. I used to be a big rock climber and I'm trying to get into it more. So Billy got the closet, which was fancy. And I got the staircase, that's my space. So my little desk area is right over here, right tucked away under the stairs. And so when we're on our calls, at least we have a little bit of separation between the two of us. Have my mic stand for a new podcast that I just started. Charlie's got a little bed underneath the desk where he sleeps while I'm working. Everything has a home. So there's not a lot of lights that aren't kind of recessed in this little place, but I did want to have like a statement light. I love this wicker look, very like bright and open. And it also casts a cool pattern, like a little shadow crisscross on the ceiling. So this was kind of one of my little touches as well. So those wondering, where are the running shoes? May I present to you my shoe bin? I know I mentioned that I am a bit of a sneakerhead when it comes to like street shoes, basketball shoes, but I don't necessarily get into the weeds when it comes to running shoes. I kind of liken it to a bottle of wine, right? I, I know by having it that I like it. I, I like a certain bottle or brand or varietal. It's kind of the same thing with shoes for me. I don't necessarily geek out over the midsole foam, the outsole rubber, the upper, any of that stuff. I just know when I try it and I run in it that I like it. Topo Athletic Mountain Racer 3s, which are my general go-to running shoes right now on trails. I have the Nike Ultra Flies, a couple of pairs of Hoka's. I have the Adidas Agravix Speed Ultras, I believe, that I've only done a couple of runs on, so TBD on that. The Arcteryx Silence. The reason I have so many is that and this may sound like one big brag, but it's kind of the truth. It's like most of these I didn't buy myself. They were given to me and I honestly don't know what to do with them. 2004 Triumph Bonneville. It is a prized possession I've had since 2006 when I bought it used. 790cc, just a classic, timeless, beautiful bike. And it kind of fits in with my overall aesthetic. And I do consider myself a bit of an old soul. I love old music and I love old classic bikes and it's just something about this bike that speaks to my heart and my soul. Don't ride her nearly as much as I used to. I first started riding back in 2005, even before I was a runner. Now, these days, everyone is distracted on their phones, but I still ride every now and again to run the occasional errand, but that's about it. What is your favorite part about having Auntie Hillary and Uncle Billy right next door? My favorite thing about Uncle Billy in this house is that I get to play sports with him. I like Charlie. I like Uncle Billy doing horsey. What I found out after a year of living here is that you really don't need much to lead a happy life. We have enough room for the three of us, family next door, working amenities, and maybe minus the shoes, a fairly pared down and simple life. It may not be much, but it's home. And it's more than enough for us.